Texas is the second largest state in America, and it even won its independence and became its own republic in the 1800s. It's so large that it has formed its own unique culture, and people truly like to do things their own way there. Now, we've talked about Florida man and Florida woman in previous videos, but the Sunshine State is not the only place home to bizarre daily shenanigans. Today on Top 10s, we're looking at the top 10 wild and crazy adventures of Texas man. Number 10. Texas Man Brings His Steer to Petco The American pet supply chain Petco has a policy where you can bring in your furry friends to the store as long as you keep it on a leash. For most people, they're just happy that their dog can go somewhere besides the vet and the park. But as the saying goes, everything is bigger in Texas. A man and a woman named Shelley Lumpkin and Vincent Browning run a rodeo together, so their pets are not exactly traditional. After seeing the store's policy, they thought it would be funny to show up with their steer with a leash around its neck. Of course, the store never specified a size or weight limit on the animals allowed to come through its doors. For context, a steer averages 1,600 pounds. To their surprise, though, the Petco employees were actually okay with it and happily posed photos with the steer. Now only time will tell if people will start riding their horses through the aisles or taking their cows for a grooming session. Number 9. Texas Man Deals With Just A Few Snakes there's a well-known stereotype that people in Texas and other western states wear cowboy boots. But this isn't just a fashion statement. The thick leather protects people's feet and ankles from venomous snake bites. So in March of 2019, when a homeowner in Albany, Texas went down to his basement crawl space, he wasn't too surprised when he spotted a few rattlesnakes under the floorboards. He called a company called Big Country Snake Removal to help him get rid of them. When they arrived, they discovered that just a few actually meant 45 rattlesnakes. Now, to anyone who is afraid of snakes, you're probably imagining that scene out of Indiana Jones where there's an entire pit full of them, and you're not too far off, actually. If you're curious what it actually looks like to descend into this pit of despair, the company actually posted the entire video of the process removing the 45 snakes on their Facebook page. Number 8. Texas Man Sues Woman Over a Bad Date Pretty much everyone has had at least one truly terrible dating experience. But it's one thing to decide never to call that person again, and it's a whole other thing to sue someone over it. In 2017, one 37-year-old Texas man named Brandon Vesma was on a first date with a woman called Crystal Cruz. He took her to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Cruz was texting a friend, and Vesma asked her to stop. He told her, if you need to text during the movie, you should go outside. So she did, and then she didn't come back. Apparently, Vesmar didn't think this through because Cruz was the one who drove them both to the theater, which left him there without a ride. He texted her saying that he was suing her for $17.31, which was what he spent on the movie tickets. Later, he told the press that her behavior is a threat to civilized society. Inside Edition interviewed them both. Cruz said that she was texting her friends because she met Vesmar online, and she immediately got crazy dude vibes from him once they met face to face. I wonder why. Why that was. Her friend was texting back to ask if she was okay. Not wanting her to worry, she responded immediately instead of waiting the two hours for the movie to be over. It looks like her intuition was absolutely right, though, and she gave him back exactly $17.31 while the cameras were watching. He even took the time to count the change. Needless to say, there was not a second date. Number 7. Texas Man Finds a Surprise After Breaking Into an Abandoned House to Smoke Weed Marijuana is still illegal in the state of Texas, so for anyone who is looking to smoke, they have to do it discreetly. In February of 2019, a Texas man decided to enter an abandoned house to smoke his joints, but he soon discovered that he wasn't the only one trying to hide something in the building. A tiger was sitting inside of a large cage in the house. At first, he thought his dealer must have laced his weed with something much stronger and that he was simply hallucinating. But in reality, someone really was hiding an exotic animal in this abandoned house. Once he realized that he wasn't tripping, the man made an anonymous phone call to the police. Animal control arrived and they removed the tiger from the house. Apparently, the tiger was well fed, so whoever it belonged to was at least taking care of it. The animal was given water and medical attention and brought to a wildlife refuge. Number 6. Texan Man Paints His House Pink in Texas, a home is considered to be so sacred that they invented the Castle Doctrine. This means that you can get away with murder if you shoot someone breaking into your home. 
So you would think that people would respect that whatever someone wanted to do with their house, it would be their business. Well, that is, unless they decided to paint it a girly color, of course. In March of 2019, a man named Emilio Rodriguez decided that he wanted to paint his entire house bright pink. But he didn't just stop at the siding. He painted every square inch, including the roof and the gutters, so that it now looks like a cheap Chinese knockoff of the Bali dream house. The neighbors were so angry that they demanded that he change the color. But since there is no homeowners association in their neighborhood, they really had no way of stopping him. And of course, we're only hearing about this story because they were angry enough to contact the local news. When he was asked about his motivation behind the attack on everyone's retinas, Rodriguez simply responded that pink is his favorite color. Number 5. Texas Man's Service Monkey Causes Chaos Service animals are meant to help people with disabilities get a free pass to bring their pets to public places where they would normally not be allowed. You're probably already familiar with the concept of a blind person having a seeing eye dog. Animals with special training are the only ones who are officially licensed under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, in the United States, people have taken the concept of a service animal and used it as an excuse to bring their pets in public whenever they want. For example, one woman tried to take her emotional peacock onto an airplane, claiming that it calmed her anxiety. But, well, that's a story for another day. In 2015, one Texas man was carrying his pet monkey, Louie, around with him in public. Louie was wearing a little blue t-shirt and a diaper, and Texas man treated the ape like it was his baby. The owner brought the monkey into the bank, but the wild animal climbed down from his shoulder and began biting an unsuspecting employee. The man quickly left the bank without even apologizing. The police found him, of course, and he claimed that he had the right to bring Louie wherever he wanted as his support animal. He was wrong, of course, and he was fined $2,000. The monkey was taken by animal control and was put under a 30-day quarantine because he was never properly vaccinated. Number 4. Texas Man Receives Instant Karma This next Texas man deserves an honorable mention as a candidate for a Darwin Award. One night in August of 2018, a man threw an axe at a moving train. But instead of it crashing through a window and killing someone, it bounced back and immediately struck him. And I shouldn't be laughing at this, but come on. But instead of crashing through a window and killing someone, it bounced back and immediately struck him in the head, knocking him unconscious. The man survived with minor injuries, but he could have just as easily had the axe lodged in his skull. The conductor heard the thump and stopped the train, believing that they might have hit someone on the tracks. When the police arrived, they were able to apprehend the man who threw the axe. He tried to claim that he wasn't trying to throw it at the train, and that he was simply swinging it around in a circle in the middle of the night, just as the train went past. Mm hmm. He was taken to the hospital where he was forced to undergo a mental health examination. No surprises. Number 3. Texas Man Executes His Master Plan In the movies, when you see a bank robbery, there is usually an elaborate plan involving thieves wearing disguises to cover their faces, followed by a getaway driver who rushes them to safety. But in December of 2018, one 18-year-old Texas man named Luca Mangiarano decided that he didn't need all of that to get away with his own master plan. He held up the BBVA Compass Bank while not wearing a mask and handed the teller a rather polite note that said, This is a robbery. Please give me all your 100s and 50s in an envelope and everything will be okay. Instead of getting in a car, he rented a jump scooter as his getaway vehicle. If you're not familiar, these are electric scooters that people use to get around a big city, and then they just park it wherever they want, just waiting for the next person to pay to rent it. Clearly, Mangirano did not think this through because the company had GPS trackers on all of their scooters. They were able to track the scooter's route all the way back to his home. Number 2. Texas Man Deals With False Advertisements if you live in the United States, you've probably heard of a gym franchise called 24 Hour Fitness. As you might imagine, it's a gym that boasts the ability to get a workout any time of the day or night. But apparently some locations are not actually open 24 hours a day, and one Texas man had to find out the hard way. On January the 22nd, 2019, a man named Jonathan Santos went to the 24 Hour Fitness in Spring, Texas. Santos was in the locker room getting ready to leave when he saw a gym employee walk in. The employee acknowledged his presence but still closed down the store, locking Santos inside. So this could have ended up a lot like the movie Night at the Museum, but instead of being locked in with historic figures, you're stuck watching TV while creating a makeshift bed out of yoga mats. In reality, Santos was able to use his cell phone to call a different 24-hour fitness location that was actually open 24 hours, and they sent the employee back to unlock the door. Number 1. Texas Woman Goes on Her Average Walmart Run 
Last and certainly not least, we've given you a little twist by writing about Texas women instead, because the next story truly deserves a spot on this list. In 2019, a Texas woman was riding an electric scooter around the Walmart parking lot. Now, this by herself wouldn't be so strange, except that she was caught drinking wine out of a Pringles can. In case you were wondering, you could pretty much fit an entire bottle of wine in one of those cans, so she was absolutely wasted. Employees had to call the police because the woman began riding around the parking lot at 6.30 a.m. By 9 a.m., the police showed up, and she was permanently banned from ever stepping foot in the Walmart again. After this was reported by the media, it went viral. Viral, so much so that people began to make their own Pringles can wine tumblers in order to channel their inner Texas woman. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. If you're looking for more from me, why not check out my other channel called Today I Found Out. You will find that linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.